Good morning, Patrick here from Complete Health, and I just wanted to talk about something that I was watching yesterday on Netflix, and if you guys have Netflix, I'm a serious binger of all of the documentaries on Netflix. Ironically, uh, when I'm with my girlfriend, I'll generally watch the series, but if I'm sat on my own and I'm doing something like ironing in the house, then I'll always stick on some of the documentaries that you have on Netflix, so stuff like the David Attenborough series. Uh, but yesterday, I was watching a particularly interesting documentary that is just come onto Netflix, and the title of the documentary is called Healing. Good morning, Hayley, how are we getting on? And this, this, this documentary was actually really interesting, especially in a time like we're in now, where we've got a national pandemic, epidemic, whatever you wanna call it, where people have started to believe that this is a life-threatening disease, has made it spread even faster than ever before. Now, most people have heard of something called the placebo effect. Now, the placebo effect is, say for example, when a doctor gives a pill or a sugar pill in a randomized control study, the ones that get the sugar pill should technically have zero effect on the chemistry within their body because it is just sugar at the end of the day. However, what they've actually learned to see, and we've seen this throughout studies through pharmaceuticals for ever, that anyone that believes that they're getting a positive effect from that sugar pill will actually see a physiological change in their body. So what does that mean? Well, essentially that means that the biology within their body will actually start to change. The hormones that that person starts to produce will actually start to change because that person genuinely believes that that pill is having an effect on their health. And in the majority of the time, the placebo effect will have a positive impact on that person's body. So if someone believes hard enough, someone can actually change the chemistry within their body. Now, interestingly enough, this is done unconsciously in a placebo effect because they did not know they were not given the drug. They just thought they were getting the drug and as a result, they thought they were getting the benefits of this drug. Now, the placebo effect is the complete and polar opposite of the placebo. So say for example, you start to feel sick and you eventually end, attend your doctor and your doctor says that you have pancreatic cancer. Now, the prognosis on pancreatic cancer is that you will almost and indefinitely die. It's a given. It, as far as the medical research and literature is concerned, if you develop pancreatic cancer, you are more than likely only going to go one way, and that is almost certain and impending death. <coughs> Very joyous for a Monday morning. However, there have been multiple cases of people that have actually got over pancreatic cancer and ironically, not always in the way that you would believe. So these people that actually have got over pancreatic cancer, quite commonly, is not because of the pills, the chemo, et cetera, that they are given, but it's because those people actually believe that they can actually get better. But the other thing is as well, is with the nocebo effect, if someone is told that they are definitely going to die and they believe it, it is almost definitely going to happen. Now, this is really interesting. If you read this in the book, you are the placebo uh, by Dr. Joe Dispenza. He talks about this and he actually had a case where someone had believed that they had been cursed by a witch doctor. And as a result, they believed they were under this impending curse that was actually going to kill them. And so what the doctor actually saw, despite the fact that their studies found absolutely nothing wrong with this guy, they found that his blood markers were showing that he was actually certainly going to go that way if they didn't do something about it. Now this doctor actually took a lizard from the pet shop and told the patient that he'd actually found the witch doctor that had cursed him. And as a result, gave him a saline solution that made him vomit. And at the time that he vomited, he threw the lizard from the pet store into the vomit and said, oh my goodness, we have managed to resurrect the spirit that this shaman has cursed you with. And instantaneously that person started to improve. Now, the reality of it is, is that this documentary healing has started to show us 
how much our brain and our mind and our thought processes and what we genuinely believe is happening will start to affect the way that we feel, function and heal. And, the, and we've actually started to prove this not only just by case studies, but we've actually started to try and explain it using the quantum physics. Now, what we know is that most people are 99% space. When you look down to our electrons and our cells and you go right down to the very nitty gritty, the majority of everything that we have held within our body is held together by electrons, which is purely energy. And what we're starting to understand is that actually that energy can change. And jo Dr. Joe Dispenza is one of the most interesting people I find in this field. So is Dr. Bruce Lipton. And they've been talking about the term epigenetics for ages, is that we can actually turn genes on and off based on what we can actually do up here. So the better you believe or the better you think that you can feel and the more you start to believe that process, the more the energy in your body will actually start to change. This is why energy healers have worked for years. This is why Reiki healers have worked for years. This is why chiropractic has worked for years, is that we know, yes, it has a physical effect, but the idea of changing someone's thought process and helping them to believe that something can change will actually guide someone's body and their hormones to actually start taking that healing place to take place. Really interesting. Guys, I would seriously recommend this documentary. I'm about halfway through. I'm gonna try and watch the other half tonight. But for me, it was absolutely mind blown. And it was really interesting to see as well because the majority of the people that were on this documentary, there was a lot of people that were either very heavily involved within the chiropractic profession, or a lot of the energy healers in the documentary were recommending chiropractors to the patients for dysfunctions that they could feel in the energy field, or they were chiropractors themselves. And this is the stuff that we've been talking about for centuries within chiropractic, that there are three things that cause disease, physical stress, chemical stress, and emotional stress. And finally, documentaries and stuff are starting to be produced and actually televised on Netflix that are actually claiming the same things that chiropractors have been claiming 125 years ago. Go figure. Guys, I hope you have a brilliant Monday morning. Uh, let's start the year with a bang. As you can see, Monday, I'm super motivated to be back into the office. Uh, keep your eyes peeled. We are gonna have a few special offers running in January for any friends and family that maybe need a little bit of help, or maybe you need to get yourself back on target. Uh, so we've got a few special things that if you haven't already received them, keep your eyes peeled because we will be sending those out in the next couple of weeks. Until tomorrow, take care and have a lovely Monday morning. Speak to you soon.